You all know the challenges that confront us now. You've all felt the effect of COVID-19 on your farms, in your classrooms and laboratories, to your businesses, in your communities, and in your homes and your families. We know these challenges will persist in the days and months and perhaps years ahead. As the Land Grant College of Agriculture, our role has always been to help in times like this and to serve our communities. That is why we are currently making decisions at the college level that are sometimes painful regarding our budget cut of about $9 million and finding new opportunities for funding and support, but with the same essential priorities that have guided us for more than 150 years. We continue to be directed by our commitment to those we teach and serve. We are so proud of our faculty and staff who have already shown their mettle in terms of teaching for the faculty when in just a few short days, they successfully transitioned to a virtual teaching world. They went above and beyond to make sure students completed their coursework and they helped send 340 undergraduates all the way to graduation and 35 graduate students. Um, we are so proud of our students. We are supporting them especially as they enter the workforce and we want to continue to help them in a challenging job market. Our faculty researchers and scientists continued research that provides answers for today's and tomorrow's questions. Since agriculture was considered an essential industry by the Department of Homeland Security and other federal agencies, our research was also considered essential, such that we planted new crops for research. We supported farmers. Our extension programs found new ways to reach our clients, which include farmers and all citizens. We are very proud of Cooperative Extension for making the virtual transition without any interruption in service. And uh, we're so proud that we continue to provide science-based information for our county partners. We have helped with at-home teaching and activities for families. We've helped with nutrition, counseling, with emergency preparedness, and much more. And with our volunteer partners, we have developed personal protective equipment and hand sanitizer for frontline healthcare workers. Never has the need for our work been more apparent. And though this global challenge may lead us to think, look, and be different, we want to assure you that we remain focused on our purpose of providing exceptional teaching, innovative and unbiased research and dedicated outreach and extension. We will continue to provide students with the skills to be successful in a global economy so that they can fulfill their dreams and pursue their passion. We will continue conducting research to ensure the success of our agriculture and forest sectors, our equine industry and our spirits industry. We are looking at innovative opportunities through new courses, research grants, and partnerships with communities, fellow colleges and institutions, and public and private enterprises. We will continue transitioning our extension service into a leadership model that provides assistance and organization to a system that delivers critical services to our counties and provides families and youth with the tools needed for healthy eating, fitness, skill building, and leadership. We will continue to serve farmers, families, and Kentucky communities. And we will do so while practicing protocols that ensure everyone's health and safety. Kentucky and the world have leaned on our college to help in good times and during challenging times. We were here in 1942 when the national World War II effort called upon us to help with the Live at Home campaign where families agreed to produce 75% of their own food supply. We were here in 1962 when the agricultural community needed a solution to preserve soil health 
and a UK agronomist helped lead the no-till movement that supports more than 90 million United States agriculture acres today. We were here in 2001 when the equine industry was devastated by the outbreak of mare reproductive loss syndrome, and our faculty researchers identified and developed a critical solution for one of our signature industries. And we are here today acting with serving you in mind. Certainly we exist to serve more today than ever. And it is during the difficult times that the college shows the grit and determination that has allowed it to thrive for more than 150 years. We will emerge from our current challenge by living our land grant mission and continuing to serve the Commonwealth and the world. Today, tomorrow, and in the future, we will be here.